Hi friends, I'm Maddie, a fourth year studying electrical engineering and computer science at UC Berkeley and welcome to the vlog. That's the way every day goes, every time with no control, if the sky is big and wide, if the ground is big. Good morning friends, it's currently 10.40 a.m. and I'm eating my breakfast. I'm eating my Oikos yogurt with granola and frozen blueberries. I love this granola, it's from Trader Joe's. It tastes so good. And then you just like slowly mix this all together. And as I'm eating, I love just throwing in some frozen blueberries. But yeah, today is a pretty busy day, I'm not gonna lie. I have a lot of things that I need to get done today. I also have a quiz in one of my classes and it's not that hard, it's just like a quiz of the syllabus. It's just to help the instructors test out like how the quizzes are gonna work. But it still counts towards our grade and I didn't really fully look through the syllabus so I need to do that. That sounds so like sad to say, studying the syllabus for a quiz. Anyways, I'm just going to be eating my yogurt while watching some YouTube. If you guys know me, I love watching something while I eat. I think it's the little iPad kid in me. Also shout out to Case Koo for this phone case. Literally works as a phone stand and makes watching videos while eating so much easier. I'll talk more about them later but for now, I'm just going to eat my breakfast. Born in the sticks, tell nobody that you never had it. Don't tell nobody that you was abandoned. I'm the only one to know about the tragedy. Hi friends, so I actually wanted to take a quick pause and thank Case Coo for sponsoring today's video. So Case Coo is a phone case company and they specialize in their magnetic ring. And I specifically wanted to point out their 360 degree rotatable ring. So what's great about this is that you're able to twist the ring to however it fits your needs. So for example, if you turn it vertically, you're able to hold your phone a lot more comfortably. But if you turn it horizontally, it creates a different angle if you want to place your phone on a surface. What I also love about their phone cases is that they provide military grade drop protection. And I am someone who constantly is dropping their phone. I don't know how, but my phone always slips out of my hand. So it's been great that this phone case has literally protected me from all of my drops. Like there is not a single scratch on my phone and it's all because of Case Coo's phone cases. Also their phone case design is just so sleek. I love the matte transparent cover, but also it doesn't yellow so I can use these phone cases for a lifetime. Also, if you guys are an iPad kid like me, this ring is great because you can just prop the ring out. You can watch videos or scroll through your phone at ease and you don't have to bring like a phone stand everywhere. So if you guys are interested in checking out Case Q's phone cases, the link will be in my description box down below. But without further ado, let's jump back into the rest of today's video. So I just finished eating my breakfast and now I'm going to journal and read. This is just a five minute journal and what I really like about this is that it's really quick and simple. You just write what you're grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmation, and then at night you write down highlights of the day and what I have learned. Also at the very top they also include like a little quote of the day. So this one says, anyone who has a why to live can bear almost any what. That's a pretty good one. I'm just gonna quickly fill this in. Okay, I just finished journaling and now I'm going to be reading. I'm still in the process of reading this book, which is Principles by Ray Dalio. I started this book last semester and I still have not finished it. It's because I tried really hard to read this past summer, but for some reason, I just could not get myself to do it. But now that I'm back to school, I love just having a more calm morning. And so I'm gonna continue reading this book you guys, so I'm currently reading and there's a line that stuck out to me. It says, lose sight of the why and you will surely lose sight of your goals. Tell me that is not so similar to the quote that was in my five minute journal. That's actually crazy. And that's like what this entire passage of the book that I'm reading is about. I think this is definitely the quote of the day. If you're watching this, that's also your quote of the day. Make sure you never forget your why. 
I'm gonna go on a run. So actually recently I have a new workout schedule. Before I used to just run but now I bought a Pilates membership. So I went to Pilates yesterday but I'm running today and I'm going to Pilates tomorrow. I just like alternating. This is my running fit today. Both my sports bra and my running shorts are from Amazon. Anyways, gonna go on my run and I'll catch you guys after. Bye. Oh, I can't escape my broken brain They're following me All those mistakes I know I made Oh, I wonder what did it take to run away Oh, my name was where I I just showered and I'm going to be doing my hair care routine. Obviously, I have bleached hair, so my hair is so, so damaged. But I'll show you guys the steps that I take to kind of help decrease the frizzy and broken hair. So first, I go in with this Olaplex hair leave-in conditioner. This thing smells so good. And I will say that this product is the only one that has lasted through all my different hair care routines. It helps so much with my frizzy before I blow dry my hair, I go in with the Living Proof Heat Styling Spray and this just protects me from the heat of the blow dryer. Wait, I need like an actual mirror, but I pretty much just spray one half of my head and then the other half. Just to make sure I got it all evenly, I'll just brush through my hair and then I'm going to blow dry my hair, but to give my hair some more volume, I put my hair upside down like this. When you blow dry it from the bottom, it gives a really nice puffy volume. look like a lion. I usually blow dry my hair until it's like 50 to 60 percent dry. So when I blow dry my hair, I basically focus on like the roots of my head because that part takes the longest for my hair to dry. But for the bottom part, I go in with this Briogeo Style and Treat. It's basically just an air dry cream and let's see, what does it do? Minimizes frizz for an effortless air dry finish. So my hair is naturally curly when it dries, but it can get really frizzy. So so what I like about this product is that while it's drying, it like keeps my curls. Last but not least, I go in with this silkening gloss. There's literally so many products I use for my hair and still kind of frizzy, but it helps decrease it a lot. Yeah, that's my hair care routine post shower. Now I am going to check the time because I have a quiz today. Oh my gosh, it's 1 p.m. In 30 minutes, I need to go return something from Amazon and then then I need to go take a quiz for one of my classes. <sighs> so annoying. I am currently I am currently on my way to campus and I need to take my CS quiz. Not looking forward to it, but it's whatever. I may or may not have arrived a little too early to my quiz. just finished my quiz and it was so this quiz pretty self-explanatory there were unlimited attempts for each question so stress for nothing I just got home and I'm craving a quick snack. So I'm going to be attempting Logan's cucumber salad recipe that's been blowing up on TikTok. But I'm only going to be using the ingredients that I have at home. So keyword attempt to make his cucumber salad. <laughs> mm. I don't have soy sauce, but I have Ponzi sauce. So I'm going to be using Using that instead. I'm gonna take some sesame oil because this stuff is so good but I'm just doing like a dash of that and then I don't have garlic but I do have crunchy garlic chili oil so this is like two in one. This stuff is so good. It's my favorite chili oil. That's all the ingredients I have sadly but I think it'll still be really good. Mmm it smells so good. Is it weird if I eat this with smoked salmon? Yay! Literally, what is this? Did I even follow the Logan cucumber salad recipe? I don't even know. I have my finished cucumber salad here. Let's try it. I'm so excited. Mmm. Mm. Smoked salmon. I'm only eating this because it's about to go bad and I need to finish it. Mmm. Low-key tastes like a poke salad. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
I unfortunately have a lecture to catch up on. This is like a little stand for your laptop or your tablets, but I like it for my tablet just because I like having a slight angle when I write on my iPad. I also like to use the Pomodoro technique when I'm working or studying. It just helps me stay productive. And the one I like is this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a two hour study with me. I'm probably not going to study for two hours to be honest, but just going to do a lecture and I'll see you guys later. I am currently on my way to go eat dinner and also play volleyball with my friends. Yay, my fit. Literally just a ginormous t-shirt with some spandex and New Balance shoes. So annoying, I just showered and now I'm gonna sweat again while playing volleyball, but it's cool, it's whatever. Hi friends. Hello. We just got dinner from Take Eat Easy. This is a roast pork and duck combo. I got the Singapore Hainan chicken rice, mm -hmm. but I'm not eating right now. I, I ate like not too long ago, so I'll be eating after volleyball. See you guys then, if I remember to film. Hi friends, we're playing volleyball. Hi guys. Ooh, look who's here. Christina. Y'all miss me? Because I miss me. <laughs> She missed being shown up on the vlog. I do. <laughs> I really do. RSF. I'm not crying this time. Yeah. Because Maddie's here. Okay. <laughs> Reunited. Kiss, kiss, yeah. kiss, 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 kiss. No. Back home. Well, Justin's home and I am currently grinding more lecture because I never ended up finishing doing 161 lecture right now. I was low-key so bad at volleyball today. I was so embarrassed and low-key shocked. At first, I couldn't even get my serves over. I was so rusty but... It was really fun. I even got an insomnia cookie after. I forgot to show it to you guys, but I inhaled it because it was so good. White macadamia chocolate cookie. Say hi, Justin. Boom. YouTube? Yep. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>